guys. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Toys of the Time Gone By. I'm your host, Mark. So come and join me and let's get this started. Good to see you guys. I want to welcome you to another episode of the Toys of the Time Gone By. And on today's episode, I'd like to talk about some customs that I have done. I'd like to show you a few customs. Okay, let's uh, get this started right now. Here's a custom I did. And this is King He-Man. I actually used I used the body of um, the body of uh, Triclops, and as you can see, the face. I used something called Milliput. Uh, Milliput is an epoxy putty that I used on the face. I mean, I try to do some some. I try to get better at it. I mean. It's not the best, best, I mean, but I just try to get better at it. I gave him a helmet. As you can see, the pa I painted him with acrylic paints. I did the, um, I did He-Man's cross on the front of his chest using Milliput. And I added some little different, like I added this, um, this, uh, this piece here I added. It looks kind of like leather, very leathery. And then I, I actually made this cape. For him, and that is actually a, a sword from uh, one of my other He-Man figures that I have, one of the newer figures. But I just wanted, I just enjoy doing these uh, custom figures. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of it. I mean, I also added these. These are all Milliput, also, and the little strap is Milliput. And in the back, um, I want to show you. I put where he could sheath his sword. Here, this piece here, and I just thought it was pretty cool. Try to get some things going here. Trying to work out some of these things. Um, let me see. I got something else to show you. Check, check this out. I got the attorney. Oh, I did a repair on a guy. I did it on um, drag store using Milliput. Milliput is so versatile. You can use it for anything. And you could see here. It like I said, it's not a hundred percent. But I did the whole back here. It was all broken. And I did that. But I, it was kind of hard to match the paint. And actually, his arm still moves. The whole thing was broken. And I still I was still able to get the arm to move, which is pretty cool. Um, let me show you something else I did. I did another custom here. And this custom that I've done is a ninja. And that's his actual real uh, ninja uh, crossbow. And um, I painted him. I used the body of Merman. And actually the face, I actually made the face. Uh, I used the head. I used the head of uh, Web Store. And then I just smoothed it. I used Milliput. And I smoothed it out. It's like I said, it's um, a learning. It's all about learning. So I'm just learning how to do this. Oh, I did this, and I'm very proud of this. The front of it, this is all Milliput with the dragon and the sword. I did that. And I just, as you go along, you try to get a little better each time. I had a lot of fun with it, you know. So I'm going to show you guys another custom that I did. Um, I did the comic book version of Trapjaw. As you can see, he looks like the version that was in the comics. Um, this piece here, his hook, was also done with Milliput. And um, I had it, really enjoyed doing this. And I, like I said, I used, like, I don't have, I didn't have his arm. So I used the, an arm from um, Roboto. And um, painted it all gray and then painted his, painted his uh, armor here gray which I didn't have an extra piece for that. And then his jaw, I painted gray too. And that actually, if you look at the original mini comics, you first see him in the first few uh, mini comics. He looks like this. I mean, the only problem I see with, with painting these figures is uh, it's kind of hard to, to paint under the legs here because it all rubs off. So if anybody has any idea on what I could do to make that to where it doesn't rub off, just let me know in the comments. Um, I have another custom here I did of 
as you can see over here, I took, these are all parts that I made um, that I took from all uh, different He-Man figures that I had that were, I wasn't using them. So I did a custom of Fakor, uh, and I actually printed this out. And um, I printed this out from um, uh, Poloi Toy. He does a lot of his uh, videos on fixing different um, figures, and he goes pretty much beyond that. He just does all kind of uh, Transformers, G.I. Joes, Star Wars, Master of the Universe. He does different things. He makes things. He's pretty, if you, you guys should just check him out. He's pretty cool. I mean, he does a lot of good stuff. Um, and you can learn a lot from his videos. So that's Poloi Toy. And I'm kind of plugging him there because I do watch him and he's really good at what he does. Um, I made this, I, I tried to match the color as best as I could with uh, Faker. His hair, I felt like it came out really, really good. Uh, the color of his hair is pretty good. Um, and then I used something to seal it. So I tr that's why it has this kind of glossy look to it. I seal it. And I used, actually I used um, the uh, other version of the legs. I didn't use that. He Basically he has the regular He-Man body, but he's blue. And he had the regular legs. And I, had, I just didn't have the parts, so I just used the He-Man arm here. And as you can see, the He-Man arm is missing a finger. But... I think that I could probably repair that with a little middle put and then a regular um, old uh, evil, one of the evil guy's arms. I just wanted to put them together. They just look cool. And this, I actually made this uh, axe using middle put. I made it look like damaged, painted it gray. I mean, all in all, it all came out pretty cool, you know, you can see that. Um, I do have something else. I made a weapon for Trapjaw. This is supposed to be his little gun weapon. And this is all made this is also made out of Milliput. And uh, as you can see, it it looks pretty good. I mean, it, it's not like <laughs> it's not exact or anything. I tried my best, uh, but like it's a learning a process of learning, you know. You just have to learn. You start it and you learn. You just do what you have to do, you know. Um I'm making another figure. Um, it's not not ready yet. It's the Green Goddess. And as soon as that gets ready, I'll show you guys. But I just started painting. I'm going to have to make her an arm. Um, and I'm going to make it all milliput. I got something else to show you. See my castle here? And now I made... Um, in the, right over here, I made Man at Arms, the... He is actually the original version of Man in Arms that I made, and I this is all the armor is made out of Milliput, the, and also the weapon is made out of Milliput. Everything here is made. Of, he's kind of heavy now because of the Milliput, and um, I just really happy about this guy that I made. Very very happy about him. Uh, you can see here, it's all like. It's really cool. I painted him to look like the original um, Lords of Power. Lords of Power. He-Man. Well, I have one more thing to show you guys here. I did um, something that I made for inside the castle. You know the castle great. Well, I got to get this out. Hold on one second. I got to get... I got to take the sword here and get... Open up the castle drawers. Okay. Let's open this up here and let's see if we can get this out of here. Hold on one second, guys. Here we go. Oh, check that out. Okay, this I made. I made this thing and I'm so proud of it. Check it out. I made this out of those craft sticks took a few parts that i had painted it check it out i love it the the grate i love the grate it looks so neat i mean really i'm very happy about this look at this thing man 
I did, I just did this, I just made it, painted all the little snakes coming out of the grate and the hand, and then you see a face and another hand and all these little things, all these little um, slime and all that. I made that and it looks silvery. I painted that with acrylic silver. Really cool stuff. And that's pretty much the things that I've done that uh, I wanted to show you guys. And um, I want I want to just say that um, I'm glad that you came in to watch my video. I mean, I love my Masters of the Universe stuff. As you can see, I have a lot of them that I display even in new figures. Um, and I do have a podcast, The Toys of a Time Gone By. And you can get it on Anchor or Google. And you can listen to it. I do different new episodes all the time. So I want to thank you guys. And remember to comment, like, and share. And come back for the next episode. And I, I bid you adieu. And remember, always, always think about all your memories, your childhood memories. And go back to the time of the toys of a time gone by. Go back to that time. See you later, guys. Thank you.